Hi guys, so I'm here with my wrap up video for the month of April. Um, I read a lot of books in the month of April, I don't really know what happened. Um, I read 17 books, um, not all of them were amazing, some of them were really good, um, but overall it was a good reading month. So the first three books I read were all in the same series and it's kind of a, called the Tycoon series um, by Maya Banks. So that's the Tycoon's Pregnant Mistress, the Tycoon's Secret Affair and the Tycoon's Rebel Bride. And I picked these up because, as I've mentioned previously, um, I've read Maya Banks' historical novels and I keep trying to find um, a contemporary novel of hers that I enjoy as much as her historical. So far, I haven't managed it. These were kind. These were not the best novels. Um, they're about this. Um, they're about Greek brothers that you know are tycoons. They own like a massive hotel business, um, and uh, like the women that they supposedly fall in love with. I just didn't find them very romantic or very cute. Um, if I'm honest, so they'd probably all get about half marks if that. Um, so the next book that I read was The Right Path by Nora Roberts. I read a lot of Nora Roberts. I don't read as much as I used to, but I have read a lot of Nora Roberts books and I tend to collect her books. Um, this one was okay. I think it was an older book of hers. Um, it's sort of... Uh, actually coincidentally set um, on a Greek island and there's a mystery, um, people are turning up dead and smugglers um, and then there's some sort of romance going on. It was okay, it was kind of dated um, but it was okay, not my favourite by her so I would give it about 3 out of 5. The next book that I read was uh, Secrets of Midnight by Nalini Singh. This is a little novella in her Side Changeling series. Um, her series is one that I have enjoyed. I'm not completely up to date to, but as I said, this is a little novella. And it was cute. Um, I can't remember the character's names for the life of me. Um, but it's about a male changeling, and he sort of um, finds his mate, but his mate doesn't know that she's a cat, a cat so basically shapeshifters. Um, and it's like trying to teach her that she is and coming to terms with that and that. It was really cute and it was really quick actually. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'd probably give it 3.5 out of 5. I almost wish that there was a little bit more substance to it and that it had its own full length novel. Um, but yeah, it was, it was cute and I enjoyed it. So the next book that I read was The Things We Never Said by Samantha Young. This is the third book in her Hearts Boardwalk series, which I feel like I have been waiting forever and ever for this book. I actually received an advanced copy for review and oh my gosh, the emotions in this book, guys. I really, really enjoy Samantha Young's contemporary books um, and I've really, really enjoyed her um, previous two novels in the Hearts Boardwalk series and it's just so emotional as I say it's a second chance romance so um Michael and oh my god what's her name oh my god that's gonna really annoy me <laughs> um they met when they were younger and the timing wasn't quite right for them um the female protagonist was in a relationship but she really really liked Michael and she finally um, so when she finally decides to break up with her boyfriend, he's then with somebody and them deciding or trying to be together had disastrous consequences and so she ran away um, and yeah, it's about them, you know, years later um, crossing paths again and it not running completely smoothly. Um, oh my god, her name is in the back of like, oh, what is her name? can't think it's gone um but it was really really good really emotional as i said uh, i really really felt for these characters um and it was a really really good book i gave it five out of five i couldn't put it down um i just loved it 
So the next book that I read was Like Dragonflies by Kay Webster. This was an interesting one because um, I, I read Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma last year, I think it was, um, and I've been looking for like some a book that's kind of on the same level, and I haven't found one. Um, like Dragonflies is about two sort of I think they're teenagers that meet, and they're both kind of outcasts in different ways, um, but they meet each other and they start to fall for each other, and then they realise that they have the same father, um, and it's like what do they do now? Um, so it's a it's a bit of a controversial topic. You'll either love it or you'll hate it. I really enjoyed it um, and I gave it four out of five. The next three books I read were all by the same author, Alexa Riley, um, and they were Coach, Judge and Guarding His Obsession. These are really quick reads um, and they're all like insta love type reads. Um, didn't really connect with them if I'm honest. I don't know if I would I don't know if I would pick up any more books by her. Um, the next book that I read, where is it here? I have it, um, is the Anne of Green Gables graphic novel. This I absolutely loved. I absolutely love Anne of Green Gables. It's one of my favourite books, um, I love the movies of Anne of Green Gables, um, so it was really 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 nice to read a graphic novel adaptation, I gave it 5 out of 5, the illustrations are just beautiful, um, if you are an Anne of Green Gables fan I highly recommend that you pick this up and add it to your collection, you need it, um, hands down 5 out of 5 stars. Um, then the next three books I read were the first three books in J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood, nope, rewind, Black Dagger Legacy books and they are Blood Kiss, Blood Vow and Blood Fury. This is a spin-off series to her Black Dagger Brotherhood. Um, I'm quite behind in my J.R. Ward reading. I used to um, read J.R. Ward all the time and keep very much on top of her releases. Um, so I realised that I hadn't read any of the Black Dagger Legacy books um, and then I started reading them and I it was really, really nice to be back in that world. So whereas the Black Dagger Brotherhood um, is about sort of the original warriors this is about it's a spin-off and you still see all the characters that you see in the black dagger brotherhood series but this focuses on their new recruits in their training program um so they're sort of the protagonists in it so um, it was really really enjoyable if you like the black dagger brotherhood then definitely pick these up if you don't and you haven't read the black, any of the black dagger brotherhood series these books will make no sense to you whatsoever but they're basically about vampires um that are under threat um, from an enemy called the Lessening Society and this particular spin-off is about the original warriors teaching new recruits and recruiting for this war um, but there's also romantic elements to it so it's, each book normally has someone finding their mate in it um, and it was really really good I think my favourite out of all, of all of them was the second book Blood Vow I think that would be my favourite um, but yeah like I say really enjoyed being back in the Black Dagger universe. So the next book that I read was The Mister by E.L. James. This book was released in April. Um, there is a review for it up on my channel. Um, I read it um, a day or so after it was released. I started reading it. Really really enjoyed it. It is a departure from Fifty Shades. Um, there is much less sex in it. There is still some but it's much more I think of a slow build um, romance. Um, really, really enjoyed this one. I gave it 5 out of 5. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Where are we? The next book that I read was There's to Keep by Maya Banks.
Again, this was another attempt to try and find a contemporary read by Maya Banks that I enjoy as much her, as her historical. Um, uh, again, I would probably give this one half marks. Um, and then the final book that I read in April was The Rebel of Rally High by Callie Hart. I've not read any books by Callie Hart before, but I saw this one pop up. I think it was on Instagram, um, like advertising it. Um, and I thought oh, that sounds quite interesting. Um, so it's about two, I think they're 17. So they're high school students. Um, and the one comes from sort of the wrong side of the tracks. And the other one is sort of like more normal, but she's had something tragic happen to her. He's had something tragic happen to him and they shouldn't go together, but they do. Um, he moves to this school, um, but she's a social outcast there because of what's happened to her. Um, and it's about them kind of falling in love together. Um, I do think that there, there were elements that I really, really liked. I just think that um, the ending particularly, it was a curveball, but I think that I wanted a different ending for this book. I wanted some people to get their just desserts. Um, I wanted to see them punished. Um, and I also kind of feel like the two main characters, like, I didn't see them falling for each other, if you know what I mean. I was told they were falling for each other, and that's two different things. Um, but overall, the concept I really, really liked, so I'd probably give it about three out of five. So, guys, that's everything that I read in April. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Happy reading.